Flooding like we're seeing right now often draws comparisons to past disasters. In this case, the big flood of 1908. Back then, the water ripped through Missoula. It destroyed bridges and buildings and cut the town in two. We went back through the KPAX archives and I found a story I did 16 years ago showcasing one of the town's worst disasters on record. It's, it's the 100 year flood. So if you think about it, we're getting awfully close to being due again. It's 1908, and for 33 days it rained and rained, and the Clark Fork River started to rise. Floods everywhere just, you know, it just hit Missoula on, well, early June. And it began to knock out the different bridges, and eventually it knocked out everything. It was devastating. This house, torn from its foundation, floated away. This neighborhood is where the Holiday Inn Parkside is now located. It was underwater. Bridges everywhere collapsed under the force of the water and debris. Early in the disaster, the Higgins Avenue Bridge was holding on. In 1908, watching the flooding became a spectator sport. People would line the Higgins Avenue Bridge to watch the water and the debris rushing past underneath them. Well, the city engineer finally said enough was enough and he ordered everybody off the bridge. He just didn't think it was safe anymore. And one hour later, the middle section of the Higgins Avenue Bridge fell into the river. All but this section that stood alone in the middle of the raging water. Could have been disastrous. Could have been absolutely disastrous. It was the last bridge standing, but now Missoula was literally cut in half. No phone lines, no way across the river. The Missoulian used a bow and arrow to fire its papers across the river to reach the south side of town. During the flooding, the mill town, then the Bonner Dam, took a beating. Logs slammed into it, churning and twisting against the structure. What would happen if it gave way? They seriously thought the dam would go. And if the dam had gone, all of Missoula at that point would have been underwater. I mean, forget it. You know, we've just been wiped away. The dam held and eventually the floodwaters receded. Back then, the Clark Fork River changed its course according to the weather and it became a little too unpredictable. So finally in the 1960s, after another devastating flood in the 40s, the Army Corps of Engineers dug out deep channels to keep the river's flow deeper and more consistent, which helped create the river we know today. Now back in 1908, the Clark Fork crested at just over 17 feet during that flood. There have been other big floods since, and this one that we're seeing right now will no doubt join that list. But can you imagine a 17 foot crest in the I population we have Not, today? You know? Yeah, exactly. And seeing what we're seeing now yeah. to think, yeah, put three more feet on top of that is, is real. And you know, the thing that's astonishing me always when I think about that flood, two years later, we have the fires of 1910. Yep. So within a two year period, Western Montana has two of its biggest uh, natural disasters, if not the two biggest. And now we have kind of had it time. reverse. We had our fires, fires and now, now we, we have, have this. Yeah, okay. exactly. We deserve a it's very always, good summer. Always fire and water here in Montana, you bet. All right, we'll still